So, ha! Hey YouTubers, it's me Halif from 35 back here, and today we are reviewing Lego Bionicles for the Android and the iOS. And its full name is Lego Bionicles Mass of Creation. For correction. Well, before I talk about the game, I'll tell you guys what is Bionicles? That's the first question you must ask me. Simple. I did not know about it. That's the truth. That's why I asked you guys. The truth is that Bionicles is a toy thing, which is more popular with Japanese and the US states. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bad cold, but yeah, which is so popular in the Japanese and the US states. Well, there are a lot of games, if you guys have no idea about it, which even included me for some time. And I seriously had no idea that so many games were available for the LEGO Bionicle series. And LEGO took up the job. Well, you guys can ask me, what's different compared to the other idiotic games which are available on Earth? Well, this LEGO game does not even look like one. Because the characters look more or less like a realistic, simple yet futuristic characters who seem to addict my eyes like hell. So, saying apart, Harry, you told me that oh, it's just a Bionicles guys who are all popular in the US and everything. Then what about the game? Is this game different from everything? Does it have a big storyline? Does it sound good? Is the gameplay good? Is it worth my 300 MB of download? And does it have enough purchases, advertising, blah blah blah? I'll answer each and every one of your questions. The truth is that this game is an prototype. That is not mentioned by the company. This game is on a prototype. They did say that it's up to 74 levels available. Well, all of us played it. I played it. Touch Gameplay played it. And many others played it. But we were only able to finish 36 levels in overall. So we did realize that this was in a development mode. And when you ask me about the story, there is no particular story. Lego may have a story, but I'm sorry guys, these idiots don't. And cutscenes. Are they even cutscenes? They are more or like slideshows, but yeah, with no text and everything. And I felt a lot of things invariable in this game. Well, the characters too damn big and the... Well, the villains are like insects. They are insects, but yeah, seriously, it makes me more superior to you guys. And where on earth is the life bar? That's my very first question. Where is the shadows? That's another question. And five levels per game? Pretty sweet. And bosses? Well, five, I think it's six different characters and the same boring, idiotic boss. Give me a break, Lego. I know you are in development mode. At least admit it. Just one boss? How do you expect us to be happy? At least it has a beautiful environment around it. But even that gets boring as you play because each and every character has the same idiotic environment. There is no big and great change. Oh, seriously, come, come on. Well, the least the fighting style is awesome, but it would have been better if the villains were a little too bigger and if they had changed the camera angle. And there are special attacks, and there is no health bar, and I have no idea why do they have something known as the score, because it's not helping us in any manner. And we collect something, which I have no idea what is it for, why is it for, for whom is it for, and everything and all that. Well, this game has a lot of pros to be talked about, and the first thing is, no in-app purchases. Phew, that was pretty good. No in-app purchases. Great, hurry, then I can play all day and night. Oh, that means they'll go in aggressive advertising. No, that's not the case either. No aggressive advertising and no lying in-app purchases. Great job, Lego. At least I appreciate you for that part. Well, that doesn't mean that you can love this game because there are pieces which you collect to upgrade your character. Well, None of the players in the world were able to collect all of the pieces. They were only able to collect some. And in reality, all of us did realize that they were all haphazard. Well, for example, 
if you and I are playing the game, I would have collected five different things, and you would have collected five different things. There are 36 levels, so 36, 36. So everything is different. So no multiplayer, just a single person game. Keep on fighting. Same type of environments for each and every guy. It may look beautiful initially. It may spawn your eyes. It may make you like, I want to play this game again and again. I want to love it. I love it. I love it. But it's nothing but a pile of junk for you guys. Come on. If you're just interested in Lego, buy it. If you're not, just throw it at your face. Well, I've, until the development is over, I wouldn't recommend you guys this game. Actually, I do recommend you this, guys this game. Unless and until you are a Bionicles fan, you want to just have fighting, you want to just fight, fight, fight. And love a beautiful BGM that the same for each and every one of the level. There is no big difference and blah, 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 blah. You may have this game. Otherwise, if you are asking for a big story, big gameplay, big everything. Well, 300 MB is going to be a waste for you guys. And this game may not satisfy it. And that's what I felt. My review may be different. The other guy's review may be different. Your impressions are different. My impressions are different. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop telling that my score is just 5 out of 10. This game is beautiful in its gameplay. This game has a great BGM. This game has a good sound. This game has a good moveset. This game has good characters. But everything is more or less the same except for the characters. So that's pretty much it for my review guys. Like this video of this like if you like it. Dislike it if you feel that this video suck. Leave a comment below and do something. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm your source for gaming in Android and technology. Peace.